In 2022, voters in Marana passed Proposition 491, a $90 million capital improvement bond for the Marana Unified School District. Kago 9's Madison Thomas attended the district's bond oversight committee meeting happening tonight to see the status on the district's planned projects with that money. So what is the $90 million going towards? Well, the district has plans for a new K through eight school, renovations at existing schools, security and technology updates, along with transportation improvements. Bond sales in 2023 and this year each totaled $35 million. The final 20 million will come next year. Projects are already underway with more to come once school is out. I think almost every single one of our schools will have some type of project happening over the summer. Some of these projects will include improvements to restrooms at middle schools and high schools, parking lots and playgrounds. We're doing some replacements at some campuses, so maybe portions, and then we're doing a lot of painting and recoding. By the end of this school year, the district plans to have the groundbreaking of their new school with space for up to 800 students. The new KA is in the North Marana area, so it'll be uh, closely located to both both uh, Estes Elementary School as well as our current Gladden Farms Elementary School. So when that school opens, you'll see some enrollment from each of those campuses. Superintendent Dan Streeter says the school is on schedule and on budget. It is set to open for fall of 2025. Reporting near I-10 in Greer, Madison Thomas, KGA 9.